Hello everyone and welcome to the letters B. My name is Bobby and today I'm going to show you how to create one of the epic transitions used in the TV series Sherlock. To start off the tutorial we are going to create three video tracks. Then we will import the two clips that we are going to use for the transition. After that put the clip that will show up after the transition aside so you can focus on the other one first. Choose a moment in the clip where you want the transition to happen and cut off the remaining footage. Then, count 20 frames backwards and set a marker. After that, go another 20 frames backwards and set another one. This way we make sure to have the perfect amount of fade in and out in all of our clips. Now you're going to open up the pan and crop window of the clip that will show up before the transition. Activate masking and go to the end of the clip. Count 41 frames backwards and set a keyframe by clicking on a small plus icon below the masking timeline. Why do we count 41 and not 40? Simply because the first keyframe we set will let us make sure that the mask that we are using for our transition only appears after this first keyframe and not before. Right after we created the first keyframe, we can go one frame forward and create a mask around the object that we want to use for the transition. If you have a still image you can make one mask and change the feather type to out and the feather percentage to 1% to fade out some of your masking mistakes. This will be everything you have to do regarding the masking in this transition. However, if you have a moving object you will have to adjust the mask every couple of frames to the end of the clip to make sure your masking points will be tracked to the movement of the object. I would suggest to leave a 4 frame gap in between the masking adjustments so it won't consume a ridiculous amount of working time. Of course, I need to mention that the more hours you put into the adjustment, the better the final product will look. After we are done adjusting our mask, we can close the pan and crop window and add a fade out to our clip until it reaches the marker number one. Copy the clip before the transition and deactivate masking. Then cut to copy one frame before our marker number two. This way we make sure that the rest of the clip that we didn't mask will slowly fade out first instead of disappearing within one frame. This way the background will slowly change first and then our masked object. Then drag the end of the clip copy to the first marker. The only thing that is missing now is the following clip. Drag it below the first two clips so the beginning of the second clip will be at the second marker. Then simply add a fade in and drag it to the end of the first clip including the mask. And here you go, we created a truly epic transition. I'm sorry that the end of the tutorial might was a little confusing because of all the first and second clip sentences, but I really hope you could follow my instructions. So if you enjoyed this tutorial and want to support the channel, be sure to subscribe, like and comment so I can actually see that I could help you. I really enjoy showing you guys these cool editing tricks and any kind of support gives me new motivation to keep on going. 